70 WOCA. Ocala. Five minutes after 9 o'clock. Thank you for tuning in. Yesterday, Robin and I had a, a close-up opportunity to see some of our health providers in action. Mm-hmm. And uh, so the, the people that Bryn Pereso represents in our community really, really earn their money. And we uh, take our hat off and salute them. They do a wonderful job. And Bryn Pereso was here from Good For All Marketing to tell us about health providers right here in our own community. Good morning, Byrne. Good morning. That's awesome. How are you doing? I'm very well. How are you? Good. Good. So I have this little like sore on my leg, my lower leg. Nothing big deal, but I thought maybe I should go see a doctor. So we went to the emergency room, and I told, oh. I told him it's not an emergency, but could you look at it because it's hurting pretty bad? Sure. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so long story short, there was a... I mean, there was a lot of activity there, put it that way. And some people looked like they were really in distress. And okay. I, I said, maybe I shouldn't have come here. <laughs> maybe this, but anyway, we got to see the doctors, the nurses, the, the, all the, the crew, the MTs, you know. Mary County the garbage MTs. pail, the, the, the lady who was emptying the trash. Okay. Her, the big pail that she emptied the little pails into said contents inedible. And, yeah. And, and I said to her, do they have to put that on there? Does anybody think you can eat this garbage? So she says, you never know. So it has right on the contents inedible. Isn't yeah. that something? She, she said they service homeless people, and so they go into garbage cans. I, I can't imagine eating a paper towel. That must be a clean garbage can. <laughs> <laughs> it, could, it could also go to the animals, you know, like, uh, I don't know, horses, pigs, whatever. Yeah, maybe, yeah that's maybe, right. Maybe yeah. they're the ones who eat the... Uh, old paper so towels. So my last question is, did you get some help? Are you feeling Oh, better? yeah. Oh, I didn't feel bad. I just needed somebody to look at that. I didn't. I thought it was infected is what I, where I went. Okay. Because you always fear if you get an infection in your leg, you could lose your leg, right? Exactly. Well, it depends, you know, if, if especially if you're a diabetic. Yeah. You mm-hmm. have to keep an eye on open wounds. Which I, I know. And I worried about that, too. Okay. And but they, you are not, right? Well, they did a blood test. They said, nope, you're fine. Well... That's very good. Yeah, right? Okay, right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's April the 18th today. Yes, yeah. it is. It's another gorgeous Monday. Yes, it is. And glorious bit, as well. It's good to cool be here. Too. I, You know, you wake up in the morning, you don't know. You have tons of routine to get through before 4 o'clock. And you never know, like when I left. You get you up know, at 4? What time do you get up? 5.30. Oh, okay. You know, when when I feel really good, I go for a thirty minute walk. Do you oh, really? good for you. But today was a little slow. It might be because last Saturday, I was um, attending a um, a fashion show. Oh, <laughs> yeah. At the Elks Club, yeah. it was my first time. But it's were you participating? Beautiful. I wasn't, but I enjoyed you know the pretty ladies that were showing uh-huh. you know different clothes, and I think the person that was there was based from uh, Sarasota, so it's nice to, oh. to see beautiful, you know, different fashion. Yeah, they have a wonderful fashion community I know, down I like there. it. Yeah, yeah, it was my first time, and they have a ballroom uh, place. Anyway, um... Isn't that where the clowns come from, Sarasota? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Is that where they come from? Yeah, so <laughs> <laughs> I was picturing, I was picturing. <laughs> Clowns. <laughs> Clowns. <suits>. Well, <laughs> good morning. And before I forget, April 23 is a nurse's day. So we want to congratulate all our nurses yeah, that are yeah. working uh, in our facilities. So let me go ahead and get started. First of all, I want to thank our patient call that called last week, Mr. John Hancock in he emailed me that he didn't get done. He wanted to, um, you know, say more about his experience uh, now. It was uh, like a before and after. Right. And I said, next week you'll be on. Next so Coming on today? Or a week from today? Uh, a week from today, because today I have quite a few information to share, you know, um, uh, with everyone. Anyway, um, this coming Saturday, that's April... 23rd, am I correct? 23, yeah. that is yeah, correct. I think you're right, yeah. Um, there is a Bangladesh uh, celebration and 
It is called Bangladesh Cultural Center of Florida. It's celebrating Bangla Borshubaran. Really? That's a Bangladesh. It's so neat. I was there last year. Uh, you in Bangladesh? Year. Well, I have a very good friend. She's Dr. Esmat Pervin, and she is an ER doctor. So if you had went to one of the hospitals, like Monroe Regional Hospital, she's right. always there. How is Bangladesh doing? Do you remember... Back when, in the 70s when George Harrison had that big concert to raise money for Bangladesh? That is correct. And, you know, this is interesting. I uh-huh. was thinking about that. But, you know, I, I thought about it. I should find out what happened uh-huh. about that. But Bangladesh Cultural Center of Florida. Uh-huh. So they could be local or Gainesville, is celebrating uh, their culture. It's called Bangla Bushu Baron, April 23 at Howard Middle School Auditorium. Right. And that is at the Northwest 10th Street at 6 o'clock. And their president is Dr. Zaman. He operates uh, his practice in the villages area, very uh, extraordinary person. And um, Dr. Ismat Pervin is a very good friend of mine. She is an... We You're really good at pronouncing some of those doctors' names. I am trying. Some doctors' names are hard to pronounce. They are, but you can shorten them. But you you've got you've got a better vocabulary than us because you've well, got several languages in your head. And the Spanish, you pronounce exactly the same, similar to this. So let me, and this is this is neat. I'm going to express my greetings from Ocala, Florida, from WOCA. Larry and Reben, all the way to Bangladesh. To Bangladesh. And Dr. Isma. Let me wave to them. Hello. Yes, hi, Bangladesh. Hello. <laughs> look how big I am compared to Burn. Look, look I, can, I can take my fingers and hold right. it. Look, look how big. <laughs> and Dr. Purvin's family, her dad is Dr. Yunus Ali Khan. He's a doctor there in Bangladesh, and his wife's name is Begum Husna Hena. Begum? Right. And, I like that um, name. <laughs> and let me say that Dr. Esmat Pervin's son, Rashi Arnav Shakweb, uh-huh. is, uh, you know, he's very competitive academically at Dr. Ennis Jones, and he attends, you know, together with my son. But he is a fourth grader, I think, and my son is third grade. So I think I got that right. I think so. As far as I'm concerned, right? So uh, don't forget, Bangla Boshu Baran. That's the name of the, um, you know, of the of the event. It's a festival. Oh, of the festival. There's supposed to be a lot of dancing. And what does it translate to? What is it? It's a cultural, I would say, festival maybe. What do you think? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. Where's where's Bangladesh Geographically, is it like right next to India? It's around there. It's around there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> somewhere. And I was going to research it and I. I can uh, do it real quick. I, I ran out of time. But anyway, don't forget Bangla Bushu Baron, April 23rd, and there's no entrance fee. I'm inviting you. Oh, wonderful. So I'm we're all invited? Inviting you. That's we, great. we are invited and you can buy. They also have. Um, Oh, delicious food! You know, I'm so into culture, and I'm, I'm, I'm so open. Do you, do you like what is what is curry? Do you like curry? I love curry. I do love really? tandoori, but um, different food. This is very similar to. It's um, an acquired taste, the though, right? Philippines, right? You have to practice, practice, and try it first. Oh, Bangladesh is is directly east of India. Oh, awesome! So you were close. I went. No, I wasn't sure where it was, but Bangladesh is actually. I'm not sure how many miles is that from the Philippines. I should know, but I'm from not the Philippines, oh, I can find. I can tell you that. I'll trust the because pilot. we have because we have the same route. Like if I go to the Philippines and fly, I can take a flight from Orlando to Boston to Dubai. Oh, to the Philippines. Really? Okay. Whereas if you go to India, they have the same flight to go to Dubai and then Dubai to India. Oh, right. Okay. Very interesting. But this is a beautiful country. Nice. So let me see what I have. So next week I have um, my time is up. That's okay. Go ahead. It, it, it says sorry, we cannot calculate directions from Philippines to Bangladesh. <laughs> did you really try? <laughs> yeah, I did. did. You, uh, yeah, yeah. Work on your GPS. Oh, hold on, maybe maybe I can do a little right clicker, <laughs> a right click. Measure distance. Okay, here I can go. Okay, let's see. All right, I the know. distance is. Um, 2,175 miles. Oh, that's not far. Wow. 
Is that six hours? That's maybe? New You're Mexico. California, right? Yeah, oh. yeah, that would be New, uh, New Mexico, right? So, yeah. so um, it's yeah, about, that's yeah. not far. Because I have not been there, but you know, I have been invited to their beautiful weddings. Nice. Many times, but it didn't, you know, it didn't happen. Because so it would be three hours on a plane, three or four Sounds hours. Sounds like that. Yeah. So anyway, let me see. So next week, I have uh, Mr. John Hancock will be back uh-huh. for his success story about his colonoscopy. And then after that, Dr. Brian Cragen, the following s- Monday, which is two two weeks from today we'll be back to uh, update us about what's what are common illnesses that he is seeing in his practice at Hawthorne Medical Center so again um, nurses day April 23 and of course I won't forget Dr. Vishnu Reddy, Seminole no. Gastroenterology. Please uh, schedule your colon screening. Call 352-401-1919. And this is all for today. All for today. It's all for and today. I have one thing I want to tell you. Sure. Do you know who Conan O'Brien is, the comedian, the talk show guy? Okay. I've heard. Okay. Well, he has a character, or he had a character called the Bowel Owl. <laughs> Ooh, interesting. Okay. And, and I'm going to send you the video to it because Please. the bowel owl talks all about colonoscopies and the, the importance of getting them. And I am so proud and, of you. And they do it with a, with a, with a fun comic approach. I got to have that. But they're not making fun of it. They're actually using it as a way to educate their viewers. I'll, sh- I'll share with you. Oh. It, it's a crazy character named the bowel owl, but... Okay. So you, you send that to I will me. send it to you. Thank you so much. By way and of the thank, internet. Thank you everyone for listening and I'll be back next Monday. You have a great <laughs> week. Thank you, Bern. <laughs> right. You're welcome. We'll be right back. The weather is brought to you by myfwc.com. Safe boating is no accident. Times of clouds and sun are rather breezy in this Monday with a high of 76 along the coast, 81 inland. The main clear Monday night with lows ranging from the mid-50s in a few interior locations to the mid-60s along the coast. For tomorrow and Wednesday, mostly sunny. The high tomorrow, 78 at the coast, 83 inland. Wednesday's high, 79 at the coast, 85 inland. From the Florida West Center, I'm meteorologist Joe London. Yeah, I'm that drip coming down from the corner of the room. But where did I come from? I'll never tell. Own Dry Roof and can and we'll fix it right the first time using quality materials and we'll deal honestly and fairly with you, period. You can find Bone Dry Roofing on their website, Bone Dry Roofing, LLC.com, and Facebook at Bone Dry Roofing, LLC. Do it right before your roof needs a tarp to keep the elements out. Bone Dry Roofing stands behind their work to help make your home safe and secure, plus they have financing available. Remember, if you're not bone dry, then you're all wet. Cookies, 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 we go cookie-eating cookies. When you want something special and fun for any occasion, get cookies. King Cookie in the Paddock Mall in Ocala will make a delicious, fun-filled delight just for you. So next time you're in the mall, stop by King Cookie or call 352-237-2557. KingCookieOcala.com. Customized cookies, cakes, and more. King Cookie. Eating cookies, eating cookies, we're so happy eating cookies. Cookies! Plans for lunch Sunday? Moms and dads have a quality time lunch date with your little ones. Honey Baked Ham and Cafe is going to help. Each Sunday through Mother's Day, bring your child under 10 to Honey Baked Ham at 2709 Southwest 27th Avenue in Ocala between Best Buy and Regal Cinema. Your child's meal is free with paying adults. Eat it only. Honey Baked Ham and Cafe serves only the highest quality food and provides a clean, quiet environment so you can enjoy your time together. For more information, call 861-0011. The day has arrived for the annual golf tournament between rival clubs. Whether golf is your game or not, you're bound to enjoy Fox on the Fairway. Live on stage at Ocala Civic Theater, this hilarious farce hits two rival country clubs against each other in the annual tournament. It's a competition filled with romance, screwball comedy, and a surprise ending. Any way you slice it, Fox on the Fairway is a winner. On stage now through April 17th. For tickets and information, check OcalaCivicTheater.com or call 352-236-2274. Don't miss it. Putting the local back into radio. 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. W-O-C-A. News. Variety. Information. Now. Keep your arms and legs on the inside at all times. The most trusted name in news. Fox News. Every half hour, only on 96.3 FM, 1370 AM. The Source. W-O-C-A. 
Yes, it's the third annual Ocala's Got Talent with semifinals May 7th and finals May 21st. But you still have time to shine and audition for a slot in the running for your shot in Ocala's Got Talent. Call 595-7100. First place $1,000. Second place $500. And third place $250. Audition fee is just $25 and spectators fee is $5. This helps the Heart of Florida Youth Ranch. Call 595-7100 for your chance to shine. Yes, Ocala's Got Talent. The day has arrived for the annual golf tournament between rival clubs. Whether golf is your game or not, you're bound to enjoy Fox on the Fairway. Live on stage at Ocala Civic Theater, this hilarious farce hits two rival country clubs against each other in the annual tournament. It's a competition filled with romance, screwball comedy, and a surprise ending. Any way you slice it, Fox on the Fairway is a winner. On stage now through April 